Good morning guys, welcome to Mykonos. Just woke up, got ready, and this is our beautiful view here out in Greece, Mykonos. I wanted to start off today's vlog with a little room tour, a little bit of an upgrade from Milos, so let me take you guys in. So first of all, we got views. Should probably turn on some lights in here, but nice bed. It's a way bigger bed than last time. I think this is a king. Kind of still getting settled in because we just got here. Um, yeah, we are drying our clothes right here because it's like 40 euros to for them to hit the washer and dryer. We're like, we got it, don't worry. Um, got some drawers with the safe here. Jenny organized all her stuff all up in here. Looking all pretty. Let's turn around this way to the bathroom. Only problem is they set this thing. <laughs> for six feet and up. Yeah, they didn't know <laughs> dwarfs were booking. Um, anyway, nice shower. And then the poopers right here. <laughs> nice and black so you can't see the mud stains. Um, <laughs> but it's still good. Yeah. So that is the room tour here out in Mykonos. We're going to head out to Namos right now. Namos is a famous beach club out here in uh, Mykonos. So we'll take you guys along, show you guys what's up. And yeah, oh, by the way, we took the ferry from Milos out to Mykonos. And one thing I will suggest is if you got the extra money, fly, because <laughs> Jenny had an experience. I don't want it, I don't want it. Man. Um, so the whole time, I was good like 10 minutes in. Okay, okay, I think it's all gone. I think it's and we even took the dopamine tablets before and it just didn't do anything for me the whole time the whole two hours i was in the bathroom just sitting on the toilet <laughs> with my head over the sink throwing up let me tell you she was sweating like this girl was she came back after like 20 minutes she was literally all wet i felt so bad but we made it we're good, we're feeling good, and yeah, let's go. And the new piece is a Nissan. You got us in the manual again. Kind of rough driving this out here, but we gotta make do. We have made it here to Namos at this beautiful beach club. Um, it's pretty. It's views. Look at this. You got wa yachts all around you just chilling. Life is good. Life is beautiful. Enjoy it. But we're going to grab some food here, a nice little brunch, and we're pretty much going to be spending the whole day here. Tonight we got a nice little dinner uh, with some more views, of course. But yes, we're gonna be chilling here the rest of the day and come hang out with us. I'll run and I'll run. One. Alrighty guys, we are going out to dinner. It's called 180 Sunset Bar. But let's give you another quick outfit breakdown. This is from Zara, Zara. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going Burks. Keeping it simple, glasses are from Amazon, just some clear frames. And Jenny here, go ahead and show us what you're rocking. I have this burgundy dress from ALC, my white little Jacquemus bag, and then heels are Stuart White's.
Alright, good people. We have made it here to Scorpios. And I never really believed when people said that Mykonos was expensive. But Mykonos is expensive. Very expensive. Yesterday we went to a beach club and just the bed itself was 300 euros. And we just got here to Scorpios and the beach club here is about 160 euros just for the bed. Everything else, food, drinks is an additional cost. So that's one thing to know when you are coming out here to Scorpios or to Namos. Namos is a lot more pricey and a lot more upscale than a uh, Scorpios. But we're only here for two days so we had to make the most of it and we sure did. But. We're going to be chilling here for a few hours, enjoying these beautiful views. There's yachts around us, just motivating. We're going to be reflecting on life a little bit while we're out here. But, yes, it's a good day, that's for sure. I miss you Like the moon With the sun we're heading into the city right now just to walk around and maybe grab some dessert and just chill. What flavor ice cream did you get? Alright guys, so money saving tips out here in Mykonos. So to start, the most popular thing is here to do in Mykonos is beach clubs, right? Mykonos is known as the party island, right? So the main thing to do here is beach clubs. And the most popular two are Namos and Scorpios. So we've already been to both of those these past two days. And one thing I could really, really say is it's not worth it. <laughs> What's funny enough is these beach clubs are just set up like this. Your sunbed's over there. And over here you have people laying down with towels. On that side, it's like 300 euros to get a bed. And then over here it's free. So just bring your own towel. If we would have known, we would have done the same thing. Although if it is your first time coming to Mykonos, like it was for us, and obviously we didn't know, otherwise we wouldn't have done, done that. But is it just bring your own towel, take your pictures at Namos or Scorpios or wherever it is that you're uh, wanting to stay at, and just go by the side of it, bring your own towel, bring your own drinks, bring your own snacks, and just chill there the rest of the day, you know. Here we are at Agio Stefanos. Highly recommend this beach. Over here, it's 300, uh, no, it's 30 euros compared to like Namos and Scorpios where it's 300 euros just for the bed. And in addition to that, you have to think that all your food and drinks are on top of that sunbed cost. So over here, it's 30 euros. Uh, so this beach is really, really nice. All the beaches are the freaking same. It's not like there's nothing special about that beach rather than this one. But over here, it's 30, 30 euros for a sunbed and obviously you can bring your own towel here and just stay here for free as well. But yes, that's a big power move when you are coming to Mykonos. It was our first time coming to Mykonos, so uh, we did make that mistake in hitting up these uh, day beach clubs. Uh, and they're not even beach clubs, they're just sunbeds that offer you service such as food and drinks. But yes, that is probably the number one money saving tip that I would suggest is do not go to these luxury day clubs. Yeah, but all right. All right, tip number two on saving money out in Mykonos is transportation. We rented out a car here in Mykonos. We rented out a manual Nissan and it ran us 55 euros for each day. Is that a lot? No, but what sucks about it is that every place you go, especially in the city, it's so crowded and so crammed that they charge you for parking wherever you go. So you're paying another 20 euros just to park your vehicle there. I mean, we still, I did the math on it, we still saved money because taking Ubers here is a little pricey. Pretty much any Uber you're taking from our Airbnb would have been like 40 to 50 euros. So 
we still would have saved money. But a big power move that I would do, that I would say for you guys if you guys were coming here. Let's say, like, I came with my wife, so I'm kind of eating up all the cost. But if you're coming here with your buddies or you're coming here with a group, I would suggest you just Uber because it's such a hassle driving here and the roads are so crammed. And so, yes, I would highly suggest you just Uber around. It's a lot easier if you're coming in a big group. If it's just you and your partner, I would suggest, yeah, you maybe rent a quad, a moped, or... A vehicle because it is gonna save you some money and as far as renting the car this is our car it's a little piece gets us around so it's okay but what I want to put the main emphasis on is that they know what they're doing out here like for manual cars it's like 55 euros and if you want an automatic you're looking at like hundred twenty euros you know so they double the price just because they know that the typical person doesn't know how to drive a manual something else is that if you do want a moped or a quad you'd need to have your international uh driving permit and you need to have your motorcycles uh license as well so i didn't have the motorcycles license so i just got the manual car and it's good enough but just so you guys do know that if you do want an automatic vehicle it's about double the price of a manual so there you go And money saving tip number three. I would really say to limit the fine dining out here. Uh, there's a lot of very, very nice restaurants. We did the mistake, I guess you could say, if it is a mistake, is we chose a fine dining spot every single night. So that way we have something to get ready for every single night we're getting dressed up, wearing a nice outfit and going out. But Honestly, the fine dining out here is very, very nice. It's very, very glamorous and all that, but it's so expensive. It's unreasonably expensive. Um, and honestly, I really underestimated on how expensive Mykonos is, you know? There are some key restaurants where you really should hit. Like tonight, for instance, we're hitting Zuma, which is the famous Cavo to Goo uh, restaurant out here. I think that one's gonna be a must. We'll find out later tonight, but yeah some of the other ones that we we did hit it just it was all right it was all right that's uh tip number three of saving money out here yeah I've made it to Kavatagu restaurant, the popular Zuma in Mykonos. So we're gonna eat dinner here, crazy spectacular views. It's a freaking Louis Vuitton pool over here. You got Louis Vuitton mattresses. Like, it don't get better than this. This is the peak of Mykonos right here. If there's one restaurant you do go when you are coming to Mykonos, it's Zuma. It's gotta be Zuma. So let's break down the fit. You already know it's our all around. I ain't even gonna break it down. But I'm gonna let Jenny break down her fit. And yes. I have Colt Gaia, Mock and Mock shoes, and this bag is Colt Gaia. Alright, guys, that's gonna conclude the Mykonos vlog out here. We're about to hop on our next ferry. And we got Santorini up next. Hope you guys got some good pointers from this video as far as how to maybe save some money or to get a little bit of a feel for Mykonos if you guys are traveling out here. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on the video and if you guys are going to Mykonos. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.